<clears throat> Hello, my lovelies. Thursday night. Let's bring color to our life. When you join me, just say hi to me. And let me know that you are watching. I'm happy when you're there. When you watch replay, please put hashtag replay into the comments. And also let me know where you're coming from. So I can see people tuning in. Thank you for joining me. My name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy behind Elfen and Helden. I'm a new light retailer for Dixieville Paints over here in Frankfurt in Germany, and I'm happy when you join me. <clears throat> so if you have questions, shoot them along. I will try to answer them straight away. The piece we are still working on is the one I started on the Dixieville um, page last week, and we used um, Bunker Hill Blue, we used Cobalt Blue, um, and we used from Woody Band the ornament 2110. Um, this draw or those drawers, they are, they are finished. Um, I finished them off with some black wax from the outside coming in a little bit. The base is black. I'm going to show you in a second. And on the top, we've worked with Crackle. I've had Bonsoir Michel, Coucou, Sava. <clears throat> We work with some crackle. The base is cobalt blue, and the uh, then I applied the crackle onto it yesterday. Um, and when it was dry, I just added the caviar on top. So if you missed that, I've done that in the German live yesterday uh, on the Dixieville page and on my page for the crackle, and today um, for adding the um, caviar on top. And the cracks are appearing nicely. I don't know if you can see um, Instagram. I'm going to bring you a little closer so maybe you can see that a little better. So there are still, the paint is still wet. You can see like some spots. This is also where the bigger cracks are appearing. This is the areas where I applied the paint and the crackle a little thicker. So with the crackle medium, the thicker you applied, the thicker the cracks are going to be, and the thinner you applied, the more delicate the cracks are going to be. So I wanted to have it in an irregular um, pattern on there. And the I like the Dixville crackle especially because it gives it a very natural, organic look. So it's not like, you know, smooth all over with the cracks. It is, you know, crackling how it wants to basically. So maybe uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, I'm going to take you out and I'm going to show you. Now you can see a little better how the cracks are going to come up. And the cobalt blue is peeking through nicely. That's the idea behind the whole thing. Get you back in there. Try not to drop you. Sorry. Me and technique. Oop, still there? Okay, got you safe. So now we're going to work on the legs. I've asked yesterday on the live if I should add um, I should add gold, silver, or copper, and the main, the main wish was basically to use um, copper. So I'm going to put it up here now, I'll try not to drop it. It's just about to fit on here, so I'm going to watch it that it's not. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think I'm going to lay it on the back actually. So I can reach the legs a little easier. There we go. There we go. Um, let's 
see how I'm going to do that. Because I want to paint the legs also in copper. So, and as we don't have copper paint, I'm going to use the copper from the patina line, which obviously um, is copper colored. You should use, I mean, it is, it is made to use with the with the cup uh, with the patina spray to develop some merci beaucoup michel so and i'm gonna see if i can get it on here okay It is a metallic paint, so you can use all the patina paints, maybe apart from the um, iron one, because that's not very, that hasn't got a good coverage. That's mainly to um, produce some rusty, cra uh, rusty cracks. I'm all about crackle tonight, guys. Some rusty, um, Rusty. There you go. Some rusty. Some rust. So now I've got it. Christ's sake. <laughs> but the bronzer and the copper you could also use as regular metallic paint. And I want to have the inside of the legs. Is that color? So you can basically use those as a metallic paint, but for um, If you want to get like a patina effect, you cannot use any other. Metallic paint for so you can only create the rust with the patina paints. That works pretty nicely. go got that one i'm going to do the inside and it's not here could have taped it off i didn't you can see that the coverage is pretty nicely They're not going to use the patina spray on that one. I wanna wanna basically have those legs on the inside copper colored. Only on the inside. Only on the inside. Yeah. 
paint over the edge. Just gonna take that off. It's gonna go on the other side, sorry guys. So, trying to get on your knees. You need very little paint. You need very little paint. So, first coat. I'm going to do two coats. I think let's move to the. Oops, I'm going to bring oops, my light over also. Otherwise, I can't. Put you on here. Oh, Instagram. I'm sorry. I've just lost you. I'm sorry. No, I don't want to share a picture. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Sorry, Instagram. I've just lost you. There you go. There you go. One coat would be almost fine, but I just want to have coverage. There we go. And I'm down here. I should do the other leg. Right. 
mildly concentrated as you can see. Concentrated. Those legs were sealed beforehand. Just in case you're wondering, I always do that when I work with other colors. So I didn't want to. So it's easier for me to basically wipe it back off if um, if I made a boo boo. I made a boo-boo. Okay. Now let that dry for a moment. And for those details, I'm going to mix just to have like a continuous look. I'm just wrapping it up in my baby wipe so it um, doesn't dry in this quick. I'm starting to mix while that dries because I want to do a second coat of that. Hi, Sissy. Wie geht's dir? And in those legs, um, I'm going to work with Bestang wax and I want to make my own colored wax. And to make it really pop, I'm going to use the royal blue or the cobalt blue. Um, I need to get to my paint. Let's see if I have enough best thing wax in clear, which I almost used up, but it will be fine to mix. The best thing wax from Dixie Bell is water based, so you can basically mix your own colored waxes. Ja, fein. Da freue ich mich, dass du dabei bist. Schönen Feierabend wünsche ich dir. So, the best thing works in clear is looks white. It's just a little left. It's just a little left. It looks white, but it dries clear. And you can use that for mixing your own colored waxes, basically. So I'm just grabbing a bit of the Vesting Wax, putting it in here, a little jar. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of my Cobalt Blue. I just need very little, very little. that you can see just have a drip in there and now And 
I'm going to mix that up. You can mix the best thing waxes with each other. You can mix your own color like I'm doing at the moment. As I said, it is water-based, so you can mix it with any water-based paint. Here's a bristle. I just want to make sure I don't have any white looking spots. As I said, it is transparent and the whiteness will disappear. It'll be just cobalt tea. <coughs> Excuse me, at the end. So, having that prepared. Or later. So that's that's what it looks like now. That's what it looks like now. Let's see if you can just just do those bits here, so you know what I am talking about. I'm just using this tiny brush to use everything of the products. And I'm pushing it right into those details I want to enhance. I'm going to wipe that back in a second. Also around here. This is just an artist brush I'm using here, guys. Nothing exciting. Just want to make sure I have so grab the claw. And then I'm wiping it back. So it's basically just in those low areas. You can add some more if you want to, if it's not enough in some spots, if you want to have it heavier. You can do that with a color wash also. I'm doing a wax now because those legs are those legs are a little more. You're going to really see it there.
just a little pop a little pop here Just highlighting some of the areas. Another area here I want to grab. There you go. So let's see what our copper on the legs does. Uh, it's not completely dry, but it's. I think I'm going to try to add the second coat on there. Let's see if that works or not. I am impatient. I am impatient. Hi, Nina. Hi to Spain. How are you? So for those who tune in late, I'm using the patina paint in copper because we decided yesterday basically that we're going to have some copper um, details on this piece. But I'm not going to use the patina spray with it. I'm just going to use it as a paint basically. Just going to use it as a paint. A bit gentle here because I didn't tape it off. Going to check for some boo boos. Where did I put my baby wipes? Nobody moves. Where did I put them? There, you know. There. I think I'm the only one who can put something down one second and can't find it the next. Oh, no, didn't do that. Do the bottom one for now. It. I'm basically just applying two thin coats, same thin coats. There was a big drop I just applied. There. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing underneath here, but um, as the top is still wet i cannot really move that thing around too much And 
going to do the other side. Sorry, I'm moving you around, but I want you to see as much as possible. And as I said before, you can use the patina paints for using just as a metallic, but you cannot use any metallic for um, producing some patina. So keep that in mind. I'm not going to use I'm not going to use the patina spray with this one as I just want to have copper inside of the legs. So the black the legs have been sealed before, so it makes my life a little easier for taking my boo-boos off. Everything else I can still touch up. I didn't tape it off, should have, but um, I didn't. That's me. You know me. There you go. Thank you, Nina. Me too. Me too. Very thin coat. It's the second coat. And it has not really dried yet properly also, so. Let's see. Get the main, the main boo-boos, the main boo-boos. So, copper legs, I like that. It's just on the inside. Copper fingers also. Um, let's see if I can lift that back up. without producing another disaster. That'll be the interesting part. That'll be the uh, don't touch it on top. just about fitting onto that um, oh I like that I do like that it was a great idea from you guys yesterday to add some copper to that piece so I'm going to put the drawers in so you can have basically an idea what it's going to look when it is finished. Take it very gentle. Right. 
We'll go some butter on there also just to make them slide in a little easier but that's the look we have by now now we've prepared we've prepared us some cobalt blue basting wax which we are going to use now on those details on the wax down here to make them pop. That's those lines. Sorry if my head is in the way, I've got to see that for now. And also on top here just basically to give those low lights a little more depth Really working it into those low lights. I'm going to wipe it off in a second. Sorry, but my head is in the way. For a second. Wipe it off with my just wiping it back with a lint free cloth now. As I said, you could do that with um, color wash also, but I just like to do that with a wax. So in areas where you feel you want to have a little more, where you've taken off too much, you can add more again. Just 
There we go. That's how I'd like to have it. Bottom here also. You can also add a second coat. You know, when your wax is basically dried. Until you're happy with what you have. And that a little bit on the front already also. This can dry now. Thank you, Nina. So I mixed up just a little of that wax because I don't need much at all. Don't need much at all. So on that side, that's the back leg. There's only basically this one stripe. I try to keep my cloth my cloth pretty flat because I don't want to take too much out of the the depths. I want to keep it in there. You can really see it now. If you want to, you know, really want to see those details at the end, and just continue the um, color pattern basically of the whole, the whole project. Run. Hope you can see. Mm. Hello from Junk to Swank. Where are you watching from? Welcome on YouTube. Hope you're okay. So worried I'm going to drop that piece down here. <laughs> Because a lot of times when I'm just about finished with my project, something happens. Oops. And I'm not good at talking and working at the moment. I've learned that also. Yeah. Sorry if I bore you guys, but I like to have you participate in all bits and pieces. I do too a project. Hope it inspires you a little bit. I have a little bit of an open time. So don't let it sit too long because otherwise it'll start to dry and settle down and you will have a hard time to wipe it back but I'm having a little bit of an open time so I'm going to use that just to apply it all the way around and then wipe it back in one go. If you have questions guys feel free to shoot them along. Let's see if I get them. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, Missouri. Um, actually, I've uh, I've mixed the best thing wax from Dixiebel with some chalk mineral paint in cobalt blue. The best thing wax is a sealing wax, and it is water based, so you can basically mix it up with any 
of the water-based paints and make your own colored waxes, which is fun, which is what I'm doing here. I've used the wax in, in, uh, in clear, which um, as long it is wet, is white. That's why the cobalt blue is still a little lighter. But when it dries, it'll it'll dry um, it'll dry clear, and then the cobalt blue will be like the cobalt blue is supposed to be. Just getting it right into all those crevices. Using an artist brush. And it's going to be wiped back in a second with a lint free cloth. All the way around. Just made up a very little of that wax. And the highlights, this is for the lowlights, I'm adding that. And the highlights, they will be, when that has dried, I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to let that dry. Um, I'm probably going to use the Dixie Shine. So, come in with my gloss now. Mm. Oh, thank you, Nina. Ah, oh, Nina on YouTube also. Thank you. Guys, that's so sweet. I really can use all the help from you supporting my channels to grow them. To grow them, show them even more content. So... I'm wiping it back because I want to leave the um, the wax in the low areas. And as I said, I can always come back and add a little more. And also, if I don't like it, I can always come back and paint over it after it has dried because it is water-based. That's the reason I can mix it with the chalk mineral paint. And um, I think that looks ever so pretty. Just giving it that little, that little extra. So now I just like this one bit down here. That's it. That's it. Das freut mich, Sissi. So that's where we are at now. And I'm going to add some on that ornament up there. I'm not quite sure. 
Let me see. Because there's some black in there. I'm just going to see if I like that or not. Actually, I think I will. Just in some areas. Just in some areas. Already used some black wax on there. Best thing in black. Oh, sorry, you can't see, guys. Ba, 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 ba. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm sometimes so in. There you go. Unfortunately, you cannot talk. <laughs> oh, well, you can, but uh, I'm not hearing it. <clears throat> I'm just doing it on the ornament itself, not around it. I think that's just adding. Another depth. I think I quite like that. What do you think? Do you like it too? So it'll dry darker. It is at the moment still um, as the clear wax is basically white when it's wet, so it's still a bit. Still a bit light. It'll dry a little darker later on. That's a wood event, twenty one ten. I want to have it too piled up, so that's why I'm stippling in here. You see the difference between those two? Let's do the top one also. So as per usual, I like to do, especially, you know, when those things are supposed to look pretty much the same, I like to do it on the same day. Because, you know, when I come back the next day, I may paint with a different hand, you know, not, not like left to right handed you know I do that a lot at the moment or today I feel comfortable with my left hand 
but sometimes I'm going with my right hand, but that's not what I mean. It means that you sometimes really have like um, a different stroke, a different strength to your brush strokes and things. So the finish looks slightly different. And you know, also this blending and things like that. I like to do my blends in one day. So I can basically Do you? I would love to see something. Do you have a channel I can follow? Actually, this color combination, I wanted to do that a very long time. And it's the first time I'm actually doing those two dark colors. This caviar and um bunker hill blue you know you sometimes need the right piece for it the ones who follow me they know i like to i'm a bright bright color painter i like you know to use bright colors Working it right into those details. I want to get on the furniture itself. I just want to have it with those ornaments. Oh, I've already been down there, haven't I? What am I doing, guys? Nobody says something. I want to do the top one, don't I? <laughs> it's like, don't talk and do something. Oh my goodness. That's a typical me, isn't it? That's a typical me. But as I said, you can always add more if you want to. <laughs> it doesn't harm. So now mix up only a little, which will be just about fine. All right. Those details I want to do with that. So the highlights, they will be done with um, copper. I'm probably going to use the Dixie Shine. No, probably. Pretty much sure. I like that. I was avoiding, you know, this gold leafing things because that's just too messy for me. But uh, Dixie Shine, because the gold leafing is basically adhered to a foil and you know, just is taken off that foil with the glue. It is not, not as messy. It is not as messy. So I quite like that. So everything which is left over from that wax, I'm going to cover that up with some cling film, I'm going to put that in the fridge. And I'm going to come back when it has dried to see if I would like to add some more of it in some areas or if I'm okay the way it looks. You could always add some more if you wanted to. I know. And if you don't like it at all, you wait till it's completely dry for about, you know, three to four days. And then you could even paint over it with, you know, with your chalk paint or whatever water-based paint you're using. So it's completely fine. So now wipe it back, wipe it back. Oh, I do like that. Just makes it 
pop a little more. Just make sure where it's pretty heavy in there. Obviously, the heavier it is, the longer it needs to dry. You know, <clears throat> don't want to have it that heavy in some areas. That looks pretty nice. What do you think, guys? What do you think? What do you think? Do you like it or is it meow? Oh, I've got you already an hour on here, my friends. So I got lost. I got lost on doing details. So I hope you like it. We've done the legs on the inside with the copper patina paint, which you can use as usual metallic, you know, not the other way around. You can't use any of the other metallics for doing some, um, for doing some, Patina, but you can use the patina paint to do a metallic effect. So, you know, we have the copper on there and we've done our colored wax. And I'm going to let it dry and I'll see if I like it. And you're going to see the result, my friends. I'm thanking you so much for being with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you watch the replay, put hashtag replay into the comments and let me know that you've been with me. And, um, oh, merci beaucoup, Michelle. <laughs> So I'm wishing you a lovely evening, a lovely weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there on Sunday. I hope you'll have a fabulous day with your family and loved ones. And I'm going to see you next week, my friends. Ta-da, bye-bye. Thank you for being with me.